Welcome back to limited edition, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're gonna talk about paint protection film and windshield um, protection films, do's and don'ts. Let's get started. Well, ladies and gents, uh, I've been getting uh, some questions from viewers um, about my, my personal cars. You, you see, these are three of my personal cars in here. Uh, about uh, paint protection film and windshield protection film. All of these cars uh, have uh, paint protection and windshield protection in some form. And um, uh, I'm gonna you know, talk about some of those do's and don'ts. I have done paint protection film, not me personally, but on all of my personal cars in the past, I've done a lot of cars, and I have learned some things uh, over the years and I kind of want to share that information with you and this is you know based on my personal experience now what I want to talk about first is the paint protection film and uh, you know in what applications it's a good idea and in what applications I think it's a waste of money and I have learned that you know specifically with with this particular car um, there are certain instances where it's actually um, it might, might be detrimental to the vehicle so uh, paint protection film this particular car, this is my 99 Lexus LS400. Uh, it has paint protection film on an entire car except the four doors, okay? And uh, the this was a very expensive proposition uh, specifically for this particular vehicle because uh, the car is so old and there's no patterns. Usually, uh, you know, most of these places that do PPF, they have, you know, plotters and they have patterns in the computer. Uh, they just, you know, cut out these, um, uh, pieces of PPF and they apply it makes it easier for them uh, when a car is older or maybe it's like um, you know something something very specific or super exotic or whatever something very very rare you would not have that you have to do it custom so they basically get a whole sheet of PPF they would you know slap it on the hood and then they would have to cut around it and you know make it fit so that was an expensive proposition with this vehicle because there was no patterns and um, Here's the other thing. So uh, in my experience, if you are going to uh, daily drive the car, do not PPF the whole thing. If the car is going to sit outside, um, do not do it, okay? And the reason why is that PPF does age, okay? It, the film um, loses some of its luster uh, over some time, especially on the, on the black car um, that, that sits outside, okay? Uh, if the car is going to be sitting mostly in the garage if it's not a daily driver uh, it's okay to PPF the whole car it's not a problem but you know if you're gonna use it as a daily I think it's a big big mistake to do the whole car and I learned it with, with this particular vehicle um, as the film starts to age you can see some imperfections in it uh, which kind of defeats the purpose really of PPF in the whole car um, uh, I would what I would recommend if you're gonna daily the car you just do the front front clip and that's what I did with, with these cars um, and this is my 2019 Tahoe, and uh, uh, when I got this truck, I PPF'd only the front clip. Uh, I did the windshield protection film, I PPF'd the uh, A-pillars portion of the roof, and then the mirror cap. Basically anything that, um, you know, hits, you know, all the crap that comes on the highway. I do a lot of highway driving, so um, there's partial here on the hood, partial on the fenders. And then the whole front clip is PPF. You know, uh, chrome, it's very difficult to, PP, to do a PPF on it because it all starts to peel. Uh, but that's my, my recommendation when it comes to daily drivers. Do not PPF the whole car uh, because it starts, to, it starts to age and it starts to look kind of funky. Um, especially on a darker colored car, okay? Now, if the car, if you have an exotic or something's gonna sit in the garage all the time, it's not gonna be outside, that's not an issue. Now, there are different, kind of P style of PPFs, there's, this car has Suntec on it, um, and, and this one has Suntec, and this one has uh, Expel. Now, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not endorsing any of these brands, you know, I, I have nothing to do with them, I really don't care which one you, you go with, you know, do your own research and see what, what works for you. But um, uh, Expel, from my understanding, starts to yellow uh, on some lighter colored cars, okay? Uh, and you can see this, there's a, you know, even Suntec, there's kind of a color difference here. I don't know if camera's gonna capture that. So, uh, especially like on, on like white cars, I had a 2017 Mustang GT California Special that I PPF'd most of the car and it was white. And what started happening is that um, some of the edges, like um, you would see if you, if you PPF'd some of, the, some of the edges, like the hood or the fenders, you would get mold 
believe it or not, yes, mold. You just like get like black spots in here. I, I mean, it, this this requires maintenance. Like these companies, when they advertise PPF, um, they have a, they have ten year warranties and all that stuff. It's all baloney. It, it, it's it's all bullshit. You know what I mean? Uh, this film is not really designed for elements like we have here in South Florida. I mean, that the heat kills it. So, and if you don't maintain it, you know, daily, you have to go there and clean this, this freaking thing, you know, it's gonna start growing some mold, especially on the lighter color cars, you would see that. So, that, that's uh, PPF for me right now. I'm trying something new, I'm just doing front clips, and I'm not doing the whole car. This particular one is also uh, a front clip. As you can see, there's a partial hood, partial fender, lights, bumper, on this one, I did the mirror caps. I did not do A pillars. I did, I think I did the roof. Yeah, I did the partial roof and the windscreen, the windshield protection film. Now, uh, when it comes to this stuff, um, there's, there's some positives and some negatives, okay? The positives is that it saved a couple of windshields, okay? Uh, for me because some of the stuff is very very expensive like this this the windshield for this Lexus uh, If I remember correctly it was like a thousand bucks this one this one I think is fifteen hundred dollars if you if you crack it um, The Chevy is not that expensive, but it's still you know so but the the problem with the um, with this uh, film is is that it, it goes bad very very quick okay um, and this is kind of unfortunate side effect so you have to weigh in like the cost of you know, replacing the film every six months uh, versus the cost of replacing the windshield. So it's kind of a, you know, plus and minus. So uh, as you can see, let me show you here. This is relatively new. This is like a month, month old. And uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna capture this. There's already some like big like gouges here. I don't know if you can see that, yep, right there. Um, and this is, this is the film protecting the windshield. These are like rocks hitting it. So if this, if this film was not on there, I mean, this winch will be cracked 100%. I, I had one today, I was driving here, I had, I had a huge one, I had a huge rock hit it right here, okay? I don't know if you can see it, right there, okay? And it, it saved it, you know, I, this, this would have been a cracked windshield. So, that's the positive. The negative is that, number one, it's very expensive. You know, this right here is 500 bucks. Yep. And, and it, what starts to happen, uh, I know I'm gonna show you on this Tahoe, I don't know if it's the camera is going to capture this. Is the film starts to um, kind of get a little hazy, and what you have to do is you have to polish it. They have some kind of polish um, that they sell for this, and I don't know if the camera is going to capture that. Um, and it starts to get the kind of funky little like rainbowish colors on it. Then you have to kind of buff it out, and uh, it becomes annoying because it, it starts doing that every you know every couple of weeks. You got to do that, and uh, uh, every, I would say about every six months to eight months, you're gonna have to replace this because it scratches easily. So um, once you, you know, use your windshield wipers, if you don't clean them, they say, well, you gotta clean your windshield wipers before you use them on, on, this, on this film. It's like, yeah, let me just stop what I'm doing in the middle of the rain, get out there and, you know, clean the windshield wipers so I don't scratch some film. So that's kind of the negative, like on this particular car, um, uh, this is the, I believe the third time it's been replaced. So um, it, it, has, it does have like a year or two warranty and um, the company that I use, they're kind of, you know, some, they don't like to replace stuff on the warranty. So they, they give me like a discount, but um, uh, unfortunately, you know, it, it costs a lot of money to get these replaced. Uh, but, you know, for me, it's worth it because these windshields are expensive and um, uh, I, I just, I, I replaced the film, you know, six to eight months, you know, maybe some, some of them last a year. Um, you know, but it, it just, that's usually kind of the, the thing with the uh, windshield protection film and PPF. These are kind of, you know, my thoughts on it. So, uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.